Hello everyone, this is Thomas Sands. I will be reading a more recent piece titled, A Personal Declaration of Independence. Please note that the following document isn't meant to replace or copy any document that currently exists, but instead is meant to serve as an addition to the great writings that were written before this one. I do not believe that this document can stand alone. I hope that it becomes for others what it has been for me inside of my mind before I put the thoughts into writing. Instead of focusing on the people, here I focus on the person. That person could be you, someone else, or it could be me. The reader is urged to keep an open mind and understand that no document is perfect. All we can do with the limitations that are in place in our reality regarding writing is to expand on previous documents with the experience gained from life after reading such material. There comes a point in life when one must choose to live how others want them to live or live the life they desire. Following the golden rule, maybe the extent of their moral and ethical values, this is enough. The individual chooses not to follow the path of those that fear the snake, but instead take the road they wish, and acknowledge that the serpent may be waiting for them and ready to strike at a moment's notice. The person must decide either to dissolve the bands that are used to enslave them, breaking free from the restriction put on their way of life, or be content with the chains that tie the individual down, involuntarily committing them to a life of servitude to their masters. The difference between a right and a privilege is that one is inalienable, while the other is given by another person. The individual that wishes to break free from the bondage of restrictive privileges knows that from birth they have certain rights that no man should dare attempt to restrict. Any attempts to take away the life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, and other rights that have always been for the individual grants the person ethical and necessary permission to defend their self with at least equal force, which is or was inflicted upon them. The individual who has declared their independence from tyrannical rule has made clear to themselves that they understand that no one has the right to take any rights from someone else. A society may appoint other persons to a position of power, fed only with the privilege that is given, but their privilege stops when the same society has decided that they don't deserve or need it anymore. In some cases, like which we are seeing today, those people that society gave privilege to have used their power to attempt to take away the rights of the ones that appointed them to power. Any opposition to this power is met with brutal force, and it is made clear that those who oppose will be imprisoned or killed. In such times, a person has the moral right, the duty, to not only disobey the re overreaching powers that be, but to also unite with other free people to burn the system that enslaves them to ash. The oppressive government which we have let spiral out of control has decided that what they want is what we will have and will do everything in their power to make what they wish to see a reality. They have incrementally corrupted a government not to serve the people, but to serve those few that are in positions of power. They have created a system that allows them to take what they wish from the people to build other systems that can in the end only continue to in inhibit the rights of, the, of free people. They have imprisoned people for many years for crimes that were created with disregard to personal liberty. They've executed individuals in the streets for not complying with the rules which they feel are superior to the inalienable rights. They've created large standing armies to gain power and milk what they could from the people to fund it. They have turned the people against one another and has resulted in many casualties. They have constantly attempted to assault the voice of the people by taking control of, if not building, the largest media networks. They have decided that every child that is born in this nation or that will ever be born is property that belongs to them and them alone. They have built a militarized police force to further enslave the people and remain in control. As a friend of mine has said, rulers intend to rule. Today I declare that I am a free and independent person. I absolve all allegiance to the government which attempts to rule over me. I have decided to take a stand and no longer be afraid of a snake which may block my path. I concur that my rights include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and does not include the ability to take any of those things away from someone else, but does include the ethical and moral duty to defend them for myself and others. Today, I am free.